All right, real quick, I'm gonna talk about thermocouple calibration. So we have what are known as T-type thermocouples, 24 gauge. These are things that you're gonna to need to include in a manuscript if you publish this kind of information. And what we do is uh, these small thermocouples usually have the blue wire and then you have the fine wire at the end. The fine wire at the end is delicate. I'll make another video going through how to assemble these, uh, these thermocouples and then also um, how to do the physical calibration, which essentially you um, place the end of the fine wire and uh, a temperature probe that you want to calibrate to. In this case, we have one in the lab that is calibrated for, uh, um, for use. Otherwise, you're gonna be using a mercury thermometer. Be extra careful with that to not break it. Basically, what we wanna do is dip the fine wire and the thermometer that we wanna use inside uh, um, water. And we have the um, special um, insulator things in the, in the lab that'll feature in another video. Basically, put these in together. Uh, and then whatever temperature shows up on the thermocouple is slightly different than the temperature recorded from the uh, device we're calibrating to. In which case, this actual temperature column here for me is going to be um, <clears throat> the uh, temperature at which I want to calibrate towards. And the measured temperature is the thermocouple measurement. Fine wire can give us pretty good accuracy up to two tenths of a degree, right? So what we have here is, you know, the tenth place, um, while the actual temperature is 21.7 on the thermometer. 21.41 is my measured temperature from the thermocouple. And so what I have is two chambers, I have four racks, meaning I have four different thermocouples that I'm trying to calibrate. And what I've done is I've selected three temperatures to calibrate towards. You really only need two. But since my temperatures are going to be ranging from 19 to 23 degrees Celsius, I've picked temperatures within that range, towards the top end of that range, and then towards the bottom end of that range, uh, even below it. And what this uh, means is that I'm going to be able to calibrate rather precisely towards the temperature range that I am looking to um, uh, have the thermocouples measure reliably. So. If you, if I was calibrating at like, you know, near zero degrees Celsius and then like one at 23, that's not going to give me a very precise measurement for the range that I am expecting these thermocouples to be measuring. So I just want to measure within um, this small range and that gives me the ability to calibrate more precisely just to the range that I want to, I uh, want to use. So what I've done is I have um, measured the temperature in the basin at the same time that I was measuring the thermocouple temperature. So by connecting to the data logger and reading off the live values, I'm able to do this. And so what I've done is just create a series of charts. And so what, what, what I did here was then create a figure with the thermocouple measurements on the x-axis and the actual measurements on the y-axis. And I did this because I wanna create a y equals mx plus b equation that I can use in my program to make sure that the um, thermocouples are accurate. So in this case, y equals mx plus b, and then this value is transferred over here. I have the coefficient m, I have the offset b. And what I'll do is I'll plug that into a program. I'll show you in a moment how to do that. Now, since these fine wires are good to be calibrated up to the second decimal place, what I want to do is I'm going to round these measurements. I'm around here. On this one, second decimal place. And then do the same thing here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and drag this down. Now this is the same thing. Let's uh, insert here. So one, all right. So now I have the new coefficients. This is the rounded coefficients, right? Um, which is what we want. So these figures are just helpful to uh, 
just generate the y equals mx plus b equation. So if you uh, um, plot this out, so I have select data, edit, there's my x values, there's my y values. Okay, okay. What I did over here was this add trend line. More options, it's a linear trend line, obviously. More options. Display equation on the chart. Don't need to set the intercept, but that's the equation, right? And that's all I really need to do. Um, then I just copied those values up here and then was able to round them there. So next step, when I open up logger net, there are some programs. CR basic editor is what you want to use if you're using the CR 1000s. If you're using the CR 10 or CR 10X, you want to use Edlog. I'll show you an example of both. So here's the uh, CR basic, right? And here's my program. So I have four thermocouples, temp one, two, three, four. And then what I want to do is I want to go down here to the program writing. And so you see here, there's a one and a zero. This is the one is the M, right? Or the coefficient and the B is the offset. So what I want to do is just go ahead and edit this 0 0.99 and 0 0.47 is my first th uh, thermocouple here. Um, and I want to do this all the way down. Since I have two chambers, I'll make a copy of this exact same program and I will do this twice. Um, once it's done, you hit compile, right? And make sure that there's no errors in the program. Great. And then I saved that. So that's the my corrected um, for thermocouple uh, offset and coefficient. If I'm doing this, so I'll do this for all four of those, copy it and do it for the other four. And then if I want to do this in um, the ed log for the CR 10X, it's the same thing. So right here, you need to figure out where the first thermocouple is. In this case, P14 is my first thermocouple. Seven, one. This one is our M and the zero is our B. So this is just read only, but basically um, I would delete here and write in my 0 0.99 M and then I would delete here, put in my 0 0.47 B. Um, in that case, you just hit compile and save and that'll be your, your new uh, program file. So um, I'll do this for one, two, three, four thermocouples. Right. In any case, that is all I have. So um, let me know if you have any questions about this uh, when you get the chance. All right. Thanks.